Thank God that God did not judge us according to our thinking. Thank you, Lord. No, he didn't, he didn't do that. Amen. He said he would send you some message. Amen. By uh, uh, those that sit next to you in the church and say, I wouldn't pay my time. Amen. In order to kill and destroy your blessings. You want to destroy your blessings. If you know that God said give and it shall be given unto you, don't you let Satan send you a message by anybody, anyone, not even a family member. You got to stand. And sometimes you, you got to stand alone, but remember you're not alone. 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 You see, we have we have asset to pray. We have a perfect standing before God and have asset into his presence. Hebrew chapter 10, verses 19 through 25. We have standing in God's presence. It is good to know that because of Christ and you got Christ in your life you can stand before God in his presence and you don't need nobody to stand for you I, I don't need nobody, hey, hey, amen they, they sing a song, I don't need no rock to cry out for me amen. it's good to let other people pray to God, but you ought to pray sometime yourself amen. Amen. it's good for other people to say, I got faith, but you ought to have some faith in God yourself. Amen. It's good, it's good to let others talk about the grace of God, but you ought to know something about God's grace yourself. This is a self thing. This is a personal matter. This is a personal matter. The saints of God, the believers of God, they, 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 they have a standard they can stand before God. Then, not only that, but this is what he said here in verse 3. He said, not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation weakness, patience. Acts chapter 5. And then verse 41, certainly, and second Corinthians chapter uh, uh, 12 through 9. Listen, we have, let, let, let's read uh, second Corinthians chapter 12. Chapter 12 and verse uh, 9 uh, here. You ought, you ought to just read, write it down if you're at home. If you're at home, you ought to write that down. Second Corinthians chapter uh, 12 here. And verse uh, 9. If you're at home, write that down. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And verse 9. Verse 9 said it this way. And he said unto me, My grace. My grace. Who grace? God grace. My grace is sufficient. For thee, for my strength is made perfect in my weakness. He'll give you strength in the midst of what we're going through with right now. He'll give you some strength. And certainly the strength that, 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 that the Lord will give us is different from anything that we can imagine. He'll put a song in your heart. In the midst of your troubles. He'll make you, amen, the strength that, that, that Paul talks about. He'll make you lift your hand right along in the streets and say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In a car all by yourself. That will kind of strength he will give you. He'll give you strength to look Satan in the eye and tell him, Satan, Satan, I made Jesus my choice. Say that I refuse to move off of my post. My faith is in him. He, he, and, and he said, make it perfect in weakness. Not perfect. In your weakness, perfect. 
he'll make it pray for this in uh, the second Corinthians chapter 12 and when not not only he'll make it make it your strength will be perfect perfect that means that no nothing can move you most gladly though I would rather glory in my infirmity. I would rather glory in my infirmity, my weakness, my, my troubles. What I'm going through with it, he said, I would rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. What I'm going through with, you're going to suffer. I don't care how I, 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 I much you go to church. That's some stuff you're going to have to go through with. Go through with. Go through with. This is what Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 10. He said, Therefore I take pleasure in my infirmity, in reproach, in necessity, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And he said in verse 11, I become a fool in glory. I become a fool. I, I, let me tell you one thing. People would think you're crazy because we going through something right now and they see you saying hallelujah and praising God and giving God some thanks. They'll think you done lost your mind. But you don't see. You don't see the problem. You ought to see the problem solved. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Don't let, don't, don't let your problem blind you from seeing Christ. Don't you let your problem blind you. Don't let your problem blind you in your mind. And I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about your physical sight. Say you don't want to blind your mind. If he can mess up my thinking, amen, he mess up all of me. That's why Paul said, let this mind be in us which was also in Christ Jesus. He said, we have, we have, we have, we have peace with God. Not only that, but this way he said, I glory. Knowing that my tribulation would wake patient. Knowing that it would wake patient. I, he said, I know this. That my, my, it would wake patient for, for me. So now you must understand that in your in your patience, you got that patient in the Almighty God. That patient in the Almighty God. This is what James chapter one and verse three said. James chapter one and verse three said. James chapter one and verse three said, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. The trying of your faith wages patience. That's James chapter 1, verse 3. And, and verse 4 says, But let patience have a perfect word, that ye may be perfect and entirely wanting nothing. Want nothing. Whatever you need, God has. Whatever you want, God will give it to you. He's that kind of of God. So we must have patience while we're going through what we're going through with. You've got to have some patience. Patience. Got to have some patience. <clears throat> not only, not only, not only that, but in the, in the B part of chapter 2, he said we got to have some hope. Literally, we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Ephesians chapter 2, Verse 11 through 12. We are boast in the hope of God. Boast in. Hope means that uh, that is that is well, hope is like uh, uh let me see, hope is something that you hold on to. Hold on to. Faith pushes us. Faith tells you to go ahead. You're gonna make it. But while my faith pushing you, things look so dim. But hope changes that hold on. You're going to make it. 
Faith, faith keep on pushing you. So don't worry about what you see. Just keep walking. And then you, you, you don't even see a bridge. Amen. Look at you at the end of the tunnel. But hopefully hold on by the time you get to the tunnel. God's going to be able to put a bridge there for you to cross. That would hope, hope say, hold on. So in the midst of what we're going through with, you better hold on. Amen. Don't you let go. You need to hold on. Hope say, hang in there. Don't be this way. Always the hope. I mean, in the Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11 and 12 tells us, note that the unsaved person is without hope. If you ain't, if, if, let me tell you one thing, if, you, if you're unsaved, you have no hope. But if you know what God, if you know, and you know, if you know, my brothers and sisters, what God can do, we have hope. You don't have hope. Hope in Him. We cannot boast in good works that bring salvation. You teach in chapter 2 and verse 8 said, We're saved by, and, and, and verse. Uh, chapter 2 and, and verse 8 through 9, we're saved by grace. But we can boast in the, in the wonderful salvation God has given us in Christ. This is a blessed hope. A blessed hope. So you compare uh, Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. This is a blessed hope. We have daily confidence. Daily confidence. That's in, in verse 3 of this. We have uh, 3 and 4 in, 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 in uh, Romans chapter 5. We have daily confidence. 3 said, not only so, but we glory in tribulation. That confidence also knowing that tribulation working patient. Patient uh, experience and experience hope. Hope. So we have a daily confidence. We boast in this glory. In testing, also, the true Christian not only have hope, but we have a future hope. But we have confidence in the present trials of life. Now, hope doesn't mean that, let me tell you what this hope means, my brother and my sister. This hope doesn't only mean that uh, if I die, uh, I got a future hope. I got some hope that I live with God throughout eternity. This hope that Paul speaks of is a present hope. Why you going through something? Why you being tested? Why you being? Why you in chaos? Why why you dealing with the unknown? Paul said you ought to have some hope. That what hope? Why I should have the hope that God is still in control and God will? I don't know what God is doing, but I hope my hope is in God, and I know God is one that never lost a battle. You got to have that kind of hope. We 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 are dealing with some trials now, but have hope. Hope in who? The Lord Jesus Christ. In the Lord Jesus Christ, we need that oh, God can bring peace in the midst of what we're going through. With God is that, that 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 kind of that kind of God. Tested plus Christ equal patient. So when Christ, uh, when, when we're going through tests, that means patient. Plus patient plus Christ equal characters. We all have. Characters mean that we should not lose our integrity. We should not lose our integrity. Job said it this way. Job said it this way. Job said, listen, I'm going to trust God. Although he's slain me, I'm going to trust him. So you must have the character. Our characters is very important in trusting when we're going through tests, our characters are very important. And, and what I mean by character, don't get upset. Don't be filled. Don't lose your trust. Keep the faith. 
and characters expands, and with expands plus Christ equal hope. Now this is what I'm saying here now. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me. I said, the true Christians not only have hope for the future, but he, he or she have confidence in the present trials of life. We don't only have hope in the future, but we have hope right now. Amen. Christians going to have some trials. The second song say, no cross, no crown. You going to have some trials. You going to have some tribulation. You going to have some ups and downs. That's a part of life. Life is a mistress. Life is a mystery. Life is a mistress of sunshine and rain. It's a, it's a mistress of wind, storm. Life is a mystery. Life is a mystery of well and sickness. Life is a mystery. So now you must understand that while we are going through life, don't lose hope because you're going to have some trials and tribulation, but have patience. Wait. It is important who you're waiting on. That's what's important. That's what I want to close with. Amen. It's important who you're waiting on. We're waiting on someone that knows the unknown. We're waiting on someone that paid it all. We're waiting on someone that told us to be not weary in well-doing. We're going to reap if we faint not. Galatians chapter 6. We're going to reap if we faint not. And this is what he said here. Hope verse 5 and, and, and the fifth chapter of the Roman verse 5 said, Hope make is not a shame. You won't be ashamed. Whatever you're going through it, you won't be ashamed if you hold on to hope. God will see you through. It's, 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 it's important we are open. Amen. I, I know, I know, I know, I know many of us, many of us, amen, many of us, uh, amen, have been in, 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 a, in a time, amen, that uh, uh, we were waiting on uh, a check. Amen. And every day you went to the mailbox. You was hoping it'll be today. Amen. Amen. You go to the mailbox today. Amen. The check is not there. Tomorrow you're hoping you go to the mailbox the next day. No check. Amen. But you know they got a check on the way. Amen. Amen. You go to the, the mailbox a week and no check. You know you got a check in the mail somewhere. So finally, hope shows up in the mailbox. That's the way it is with your blessing. Amen. Why are you going through this? Amen. Don't you stop praying. Amen. I know you've been praying ever since it's been going on and what's going on. But let me tell you one thing. Your check is on the way. Why? Because the one who has my check. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will deliver. He will deliver. He will deliver on. On time. Oh make us not ashamed. Because the love. Why? Because the love of God. Because the love of God. God loved you. And because he loved you. Let me tell you one thing. My brother. And, and, and my sisters. Uh, a real love, amen, is act love. If that no act, real love is giving love. I help, help me somebody, amen, I'm closing. Real love is giving love. Giving love. Giving. Real love is concerned love. Real, real love won't let you down. Real love will pick you up even though if they don't like you. 
He God got that kind of love, amen. God got that kind of love, even though we don't act right, but He loves us anyway, and He'll send us a blessing. Amen. Even though we don't do everything He said we're going to do, but yet He wakes us up in the morning. Amen. That's real love. I'm a chain of witness. I'm calling the Amen. Hold on. It, 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 real love, although we don't give God what do Him, yet God. Keep on blessing us over and over again. Yet, amen, we don't give God uh, what God said give him. We give God what we want to give him. But yet God keep on blessing. He keep on paying your bill. You put him last on your agenda. But he put you first in his love. Making a way over and over and over and over. My brothers and my sisters, whatever you do, whatever you do, keep the faith in him. Hope makers are not ashamed. And he said he'll send us some hope. It bold in our, but now it got to be in the heart. Love of God is shown in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. It got to be in the heart by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our agent. God is not here. Jesus is gone. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the agent here on earth now. And he said, I've sent you some help. So the Holy Spirit is our agent. So while you're hoping, while you're trusting in God, the Holy Spirit takes it back to, to God, to Jesus on the right hand of God. And God approved it because when he look at it, he sees the blood of Jesus. God signs his approval. Say that Jesus, amen. That, 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 that one of Jesus' little brothers, I got to help him. That one of Jesus, amen. That one of Jesus' little sister, I got to help him. I got to pull him out. God bless you tonight. We will continue on next Wednesday night. We hope. And we'll continue with this, this completing of this. Uh, peace with God. Peace with God. Make sure you got peace with God. While you're going through this, make sure you have peace with God. And certainly, wherever you are tonight, if you're listening, you always extend an invitation to, to Jesus Christ. He's a real God. He's a perfect God. He's the only God. And suddenly, trust in Him. Wherever and wherever you at, you just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Find your church wherever you go. We seek disciples, not members. Go to the church wherever you, when you feel that you're comfortable and that you can serve and work out the principles of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you, he'll bless you. He'll bless you. Certainly, may God bless you with our prayers. We pray. God our Father, in the perfect name of Jesus, we come, Lord, right now to you. That, God, you can do what that will be unable to do. And no one else is able to do what you can do. Not only that, no one can do what you already done. You sent Jesus to die for a world that had no hope. But thank God that you made it possible that we can have hope even in trying times. We pray right now, God, that you would bless right now our members, dear God, in the name of Jesus, come with your blood. We know you're able, we know that you can. Not only members 
uh, that we passed, uh, we say passed, but Lord, the entire world, and help them to know there are only one true God. They don't have to look any further now. When Jesus showed up, he's the end of everything. Suddenly, he said in his word, without him, we can do nothing. We depended on you, God, in these trying times. We need you to bring peace in the land. You promise us, dear God, that we'll just humble ourselves. Dear God, turn from our wicked ways. Repent. See you, O oh God, and pray. You promised us something. And we'll hear from you, and we need to hear from you right now, Lord. We, we need to hear from you, God. For the world is in a disturbance. Now, we need to hear from you. God, if there's a bomb in you, send us a right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, bring peace in this land. God, give someone wisdom and knowledge and understanding. God, what are we going through with? You said in your word, vengeance yours, say, say the Lord. Help right now. In the name of Jesus, bless the Lord in a special way. We pray for every hospital bed across this world, every four corners of the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for our nation right now. We pray for our nation. God, we know that there are many hurting right now. Don't understand. But give them some understanding that you're the problem son. You're the one that gives justice. Take God work it out. Give our leaders wisdom and knowledge how to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we pray for our officers and risk their lives. God, help right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. And those at home say amen. Amen. Amen means it is completed itself. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We love you. And God continue to take care till this time next week.